Hi, Mr. Richards here, excited to bring you today's lesson on Convert Between Systems. And our objective is to convert units of measure between the customary and metric systems. Our real-world link is on a 5K race. To raise money for the health organization, the Matthews family is participating in a 5K race. A 5K race is 5 kilometers. How many meters long is the race? Well, if one kilometer is 1,000 meters, then five kilometers is, well, 5,000 meters. One mile is approximately one and six tenth kilometers. How many miles is the race? Well, if you take five and divide by 1.6, or 1 and 6 tenths really, you result in 3.125. So we can just estimate that at 3 and 1 tenth, or if you want to take it to 3.125, you could as well. Now, a kilometer is a unit of length in the metric measurement system. A mile is a measure of length in the customary measurement system. Write the following units of length under the correct measurement system. Well, centimeter is metric, foot is customary, what we use in the United States, inch is also customary, meter, metric, millimeter, metric, and yard is customary. And remember, just because in the United States we are more accustomed to our mile, foot, inch, and yard, most of the rest of the world uses the metric system at kilometers, centimeters, meters, and millimeters. So being able to convert between these two systems is really important, especially if you're ever going to go over, say, even to, I don't know, Canada. And when you're driving there, you're going 120 kilometers an hour, and wow, we're going really fast. Well, you're really just going 70-some miles per hour. Anyways, let's continue on. You can multiply by fractions to convert between customary and metric units. The table below lists common customary and metric relationships, and this is a table we will use throughout this lesson. We have our types of measure, which is our length, and we're given customary to metric, so our inches to centimeters, our feet to meters, and so on. I'm not going to read the whole table now because we're going to use this throughout the lesson. Complete round the answer to the nearest hundredth if necessary, and the method we're going to use here is called dimensional analysis, and it's the process of including units of measurement when you compute. So, six yards is equal to how many meters? The way we can set this up, it's really cool, is we can go six yards over one, and we're going to multiply this by something. We're going to multiply this by a yards to meters fact. And if we look at our table, one yard is approximately, the little squiggly equal sign is approximately equal to 91 hundredths of a meter. And the way we're going to actually write this and set this up is we want our yards to be kitty quarter to each other, one on top, so the other needs to be on the bottom. And the reason you want to do this, you know, if you think about it, two divided by two is one. 3 divided by 3 is 1 because, you know, it just kind of cancels out in a way. Well, yards over yards does the same type of thing. It cancels out. Now, our fact here was 1 yard is equivalent to about 91 hundredths of a meter. And when these numbers are on top, we simply need to multiply our 6 times 91 hundredths and 6 times 91 hundredths is 5 and 46 hundredths meters. And that's our answer, 5 and 46 hundredths meters. What about 1 and 6 tenths centimeters into inches? Well, 1 and 6 tenths centimeters over 1 times, well, we need to go from centimeters to inches, so before I even put the numbers in, if I want to go to inches, my inches will result on top, and my centimeters will be on the bottom so that the unit centimeters cancels. And now let's plug in our fact. 
inches to centimeters. One inch is approximately equal to two and fifty-four hundred centimeters. So one inch is approximately equal to two and fifty-four hundredths. Now, this is neat because you don't have to figure out, do I need to multiply or do I need to divide? Because this simplifies into 1.6 times 1 is 1.6 inches over the 1 times 2.54 is 2.54. I simply multiplied the tops and the bottoms like you would multiply fractions. But that's a crazy number, 1.6 over 2.54, so you actually need to divide the 1 and 6 tenths by the 2 and 54 hundredths and your result would be 0 0.6299, and it continues on. Now our goal here, round to the nearest hundredths, and we have tenths, hundredths. Look at the 9 in the thousandth spot, and that 9 is going to round the 2 in the hundredth spot up. So this final answer is 0 0.63 inches, so 63 hundredths of an inch. What about 17 meters into yards? Well, once again, set up your problem. 17 m over 1. We're going to multiply that by, before we even look at the numbers, think, okay, meters and yards, meters and yards. I want my meters on the bottom so that can cancel out, and my yards on top. So my meters are going to cancel out, one on top, one on bottom. My yards will stay on top, so that'll be my, my answer. Now, what is our fact for yards and meters? Well, one yard is approximately equal to 91 hundredths of a meter. Well, one yard is approximately equal to 91 hundredths of a meter. And as I go to simplify this question, 17 times 1 is 17. 1 times 91 hundredths is 91 hundredths. And again, that can't possibly be our final answer. So when we take 17 and divide by 91 hundredths, we get 18 and 68, 1, 3, and it keeps going. And again, if we round to the nearest hundredths, we have tenths, hundredths. Is the 1 going to round our 8 up? No. And remember, 5 and above will round up. 4 and below will just kind of leave it alone. So 18 and 68 hundredths yards is our final answer here. Now what if we want to go from cups to milliliters? Well, same process here now that we're with capacity. We have our 7 and 44 hundredths cups over 1. Now before we even put the numbers in, we're going from cups to milliliters, so our cups are going to go on the bottom. Our milliliters on top, that way our cups cancel. Now our fact for this is that one cup is 236 and 59 hundredths milliliters. So put that in. We have 236 and 59 hundredths milliliters is one cup. Now multiply. Our 7 and 44 hundredths times our 236 and 59 hundredths is 1,760 and 2296 all over 1. Now, we have our 2 in the 100 spot right now. Look to the thousandths to see if we need to round, and we do need to round up here. So our final answer, 1,760 and 23 hundredths milliliters. What about our weight and mass? Well, 22 and 9 hundredths pounds. Be careful with LB that you don't get confused there with a 1. <laughs> Over 1 times, well, our pounds will go on the bottom, our kilograms on top, so that once again our pounds as a unit can cancel out and we're left with kilograms. We go to put in our numbers. One pound is 0.4536, or 4,536 ten thousandths of a kilogram. Well, we need to put that number in. So 0 
336 over 1 pound. Well, multiply these two numbers together, and your result is 10. Point zero two zero zero kilograms over one. Well, this to the nearest hundredth is ten and two hundredths. Since there's a zero in the thousand spot, we don't need to round it up. Ten and two hundredths kilograms. Going back into capacity now, we have thirty-five in eighty. Five hundredths liters into gallons. And again, our liters will go on the bottom, our gallons on top, so that our liters cancels out and we're left with the gallons. And our fact for this is that one gallon is equivalent to three and seven or three and seventy nine hundredths liters. So when we multiply this, thirty five and 85 hundredths times 1 is 35 and 85 hundredths. And 1 times 3 and 79 hundredths is 3 and 79 hundredths. And when we go to divide, our result is 9.4591. And this still is our gallons. And to round to the nearest hundredth, Look to the thousand spot. We do need to round up. So 9 and 46 hundredths gallons is our final answer. An Olympic-sized swimming pool is 50 meters long. About, 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 my favorite word. That means we get to estimate how many feet long is the pool. Well, we know that one foot is equivalent to 30 hundredths of a meter. That's the fact. We're going to have 50 meters over 1 times, well, meters over feet, since our meters are going to cancel out here. And we'll have one foot is equivalent to 30 hundredths meters. So we get 50 feet, since 50 times 1 is 50, and 1 times 30 hundredths is 30 hundredths. And now divide 50 by 30 hundredths, and you get 166.66666. It just keeps repeating. And we might as well just round this to the nearest hundredth, which is 166 and 67 hundredths feet long. Now I did say about is to estimate as we started this question, and in fact we are in a way estimating since our conversion fact is an estimate. So um, yeah, that is it. Good luck. As you set up these problems, remember how to set them up, what's going on the top, what's going on the bottom. That way you know whether or not you're multiplying or dividing at the end.